on guys it's rabbit um i apologize for my hoodie um i am sick like i said it is negative five degrees in my house and i am freezing to death literally have like one two three sweaters underneath and i am still very cold weather changed surprisingly fast you know it'd be pretty cool to do if a person can actually control the weather to be completely honest if i had that kind of power i would be some bipolar ass weather man because i would literally complain over every single thing that I do. For example, if it's too cold, I will make it hot. If it's too hot, I will make it cold. If it's cold, it'll, I will make it hot. You know, I will just vice versa, keep going back and forth, back and forth. So to be honest, if you were to choose me to be that, have that kind of power, don't because I will, I, I will kill you. Like the, there will be no hope for the men, for human being kind people that are breathing now. So as you can tell from the title of the video, I am submitting my response to the Thrust Nation RC thing. If you guys didn't know, I uploaded a video yesterday about Thrust saying if I should join, if I if I am going to join because I know I am an ARC and everything, but you know, our Thrust seems to be a great opportunity for me and many other content creators like me. And yesterday I was watching the stream RC, like seeing this, the stream that Keemstar was what streaming about um he was streaming picking up some people and i seen a lot of people that are obviously way better than i am but i thought that i can go ahead and give it a try see if i can make it in the team actually i i was kind of i, I was in tears last night as i was watching the stream because keemstar was just roasting all of the five to six year olds that submitted a response and I know it was it was crazy, it was messed up to do, but it was it was kind of funny. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are many kids with talent, like, you don't even understand. Like, the 13-year-old, they picked up the other stream, and the, that guy, he deserved it, to be honest. He looks like he put in a lot of effort into his, um, you know, response, and it was pretty dope. I liked it, I left a like, you know, I'm always on top of that stuff, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty nice guy. But anyway, like I was saying, Thrust is a very, it's, it's an incredible team, and if you don't know what Thrust is, look it up. They have a bunch of, you know, introducings out already. Um, especially the Knicks, who's one of the biggest people in the team at the moment, well, next to Keemstar, of course. And before I say anything about myself, I just wanted to thank Keemstar for giving me this great opportunity to actually get a submission in to see if I can actually join the team of, you know, of the Thrust, and I want to see how, what kind of feedback I do get and what kind of shit happens, because I am pretty, I'm not underrated at any time the year or whatever i'm actually pretty grateful for what i have um i don't get that many views i may have a thousand subscribers but you know i know i can do better i know i'm doing something wrong like it's always something that i have to fix it's something that i need to fix personality wise because my personality is like any other regular personality i get mad when i die i get mad when i get hit markers i get mad because you know some kids better than me i get mad because i'm bad basically everyone else in this community and another thing is i'm not fake for example there are other people in you know the, this community that actually fake their stuff like fake their reactions or fake their whatevers you know trying to be another person that they're really not and i am going to admit i was one of those people at one point i would say things i don't usually say i would like get off track i'll start doing what everyone else is doing and you know not being myself and i understand that's pretty bad that isn't something that you want to do if you want to be original and be yourself about you know your youtube career or anything and if you're not true to yourself then you're not true to what you do that's what i did learn from my friend jumps he did comment on one of my videos so you know thank you dude for letting me see the the light or in some way anyways let me tell you a little bit about myself so first off i'm not a trick shotter i don't trick shot i don't know why i'm trick shotting i'm only trick shotting because i am at last now the thing about you being the thing about being a sniper a free for all sniper is that if you get to last and you do not kill last you will get the most hate in the world some guy even threatened to take my youtube channel and or hack me and or you know take my virginity in a way and i can assure you it's still intact now one of the things that i can assure you is that i do put in work on this youtube thing like i've almost been uploading daily for like about a year now i also live in the ghetto if you can't hear but yeah, I have been doing this thing for about a year now because, you know, I well, ever since I started watching this man, Face Adapt, um, he's actually been a big impact on my career or what is soon to be my career if I ever have a career. If this YouTube day doesn't work out, I'm probably just going to become an all-out lawyer. I'm going to be the greatest quickscoping lawyer in all of Call of Duty history, time, 
end thing. Well, it honestly really depends if there are any other snipers that really want to become lawyers like I do. I'm also very open-minded when it comes to YouTube. Like, for example, when a fan comments on my videos and he asks, Oh, Rabbit, you should try this game. I always try it, and if the video does great and well, and I would continue to do it and possibly make it a series. Now, the thing is that that only happened once. I've always wanted to make PC games like how every other YouTuber does and everything, but at the moment, I really can't. I don't have the equipment to even... I don't, I don't, I can't afford any of that awesome stuff. I'm getting lucky because I'm actually getting a PS4 for my birthday, and it's gonna be pretty sick. I can't wait for my birthday to come because then I'm gonna get a PS4. Then I'm gonna wait another year. I don't plan on getting anything for Christmas because I don't want my, I don't want to bug my parents or anything. Um, I'm gonna try to get myself a little job because I am turning 16 and I can do things that I couldn't do back then so then I can supply myself with the things I need for this YouTube thing. As of right now, I work at a little furniture place um, down in Little Italy where I live. Um, I know it's, it's, I don't get paid much, but I am saving up to try to upgrade this, but I, I can't because I am, I am completely broke. I'm, I, I really can't. I understand that I'm making it seem like I have a miserable life and everything, but I really don't. I am grateful for everything that I have right now. Like, I have things that kids don't have these days, like I do. Like, for example, there are, there are, there are many kids that are computers are slower than mine, and if your computer is slower than mine, then I am, like, really, really sorry. Let's just say it takes about an hour and a half to render out a 30-minute video that is 30 frames per second. I meant to say 3 minutes, not 30 minutes. So imagine a 3-minute, having to wait an hour and a half for just a 3-minute video, a 3-minute cut com that you made. And it's not even 60 frames per second, and that's the kind of quality that I want to have on my channel. And I know if I join Thrust, this can all this can literally change everything it can change my whole YouTube career and actually make this YouTube thing a career the one thing I do do is cut comms precisely like whenever I make a cut com I make sure that the cut com is synced it is well done and if it's trash I will not upload it and I did have this issue before when I first got my face cam my videos would be off sync and it will look like I'm talking and then the words will come out of my mouth the second after I said the words that I said while my lips moved and I did get a lot of hate for that and you know it, it kind of sucked but at that time that was when I was actually getting a bunch of views the time in which I was you know doing really bad at like on YouTube is when I started to grow and I started to get recognized but that's when everything fell apart because people started picking up on the little flaws that I did have and they just you know just lost all kinds of interest on my videos like I would 100% understand why you were inactive in my channel because I did have this YouTube channel for about four years now and about 10 11 months ago is when I uploaded my first cut com and I promised myself that I would upload every single day and so far I've only missed a couple of days because you know due to school or my health or how life is going on I'm also very sorry if this video is a little too long but I am telling you everything about myself and I'm about to finish up so just just wait a little bit so a couple of things about me is that I am six foot tall approximately 756 pounds I love sniping I love you know doing all this other stuff and I also like like trick shotting too. My goal is to probably hit 100,000 subscribers by the year 2020 because that will be the year in which I will be done with life and I will uh, continue on with my career and become a lawyer like I said I would. So by that time I would have already given up on YouTube but I'm not gonna give up anytime soon. Even if I don't make the team that's it's not a big deal to be honest. So um, I am also a Hispanic so meaning that I am an excellent cook. If you ever need rice and beans just let me know. Slide into my DMs and I'll cook something for you. For some reason I'm also an excellent gardener. I mow lawns on my free time. I also like to clean and wash windows. If you guys didn't know I used to be a part time stripper so that I can you know supply for my family. But I wasn't getting what I thought I would get so then I just quit and ended up doing YouTube like how I am now. I plan on being bald and sexy by the age of 40. I also plan on one day hopefully joining FaZe because you know that is the team that everybody wants to join and that's the team that I want to join because my idol slash inspiration is in that team and also Red Random is also in inspiration and an idol but he's in red and soon to be in phase because I know phase 5 will go very well for him. I am 15 years old turning 16 very very soon. I did say that I was 6 foot 3 over 700 pounds. I also have a weird sense of humor. I like to make fun of myself in my free time. I also enjoy stroking my nut hair as I'm taking a shit. To be honest I think all guys do that. I don't know maybe just a guy thing. I also plan on collabing with Eddie and many other YouTubers like if I ever do join that team if I ever do join Thrust then I will love to collab with Keemstar 
make like you know some kind of interview with him or you know Nick or whatever it would be really sick if I can actually join this team and be a part of this amazing amazing community that is thrust so with that being said if you guys didn't enjoy this video make sure you guys drop a like comment and subscribe this has been your boy rabbit or thrust rabbit or rabbit because i might have been kicked from arc for not supplying for the team i'm just kidding of course i am um so i'm still in arc and i still plan on staying in arc but if i do get offered to join thrust then that is something that I'm going to have to take. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Moonlight Rabbit. Remember to keep your hairline straight, and I'll talk to you guys later.